Belize, then British Honduras attained self-government on December 31, 1963, and all these PUP supporters gathered outside of the building we now know as the courthouse, but what was then the colony's assembly chamber. They hailed the transition to self-government, but inside the chamber, the relentless Premier George Price goaded Governor Peter Stallard by talking about the next step, independence. Cabinet ministers, members of the assembly, and the people of the country are grateful to our governor, His Excellency Sir Peter Stallard, often referred to by me as the governor of independence. Applause in the chamber, but a stony silence on the throne from the British governor and chief justice. Outside, the crowds demonstrated their support with PUP signs and watched as the governor slid away with his security escort in tow. Price's time to talk to them would come on the rostrum at the public meeting. As this never before seen footage shows, the then 44 year old Price, 13 years into the nationalist movement, held a rapt audience of loyal followers in his hands. They seemed to hang on every word. Wearing his customary wayabera, their leader seemed luminous, set against the night sky. A mesmerizing moment captured in stunning black and white film. We in building a nation will need three tools a flag the name of a country and a national anthem. P.U.P. Que viva Belize! Que viva el movimiento de la independencia! P.U.P. And while he spoke of independence, it would be another almost two decades before it was realized. On September 21st, 1981, Price finally had the last of those three tools, a flag which was proudly hoisted as the Union Jack came down for the last time in Belize.